Great, great news. I mean, just like James McCarthy, James obviously went, both of them went to Wigan, uh, and now James McCarthy moved to Everton, and now James has then emulated that and went to Crystal Palace. And, you know, no, delighted for him, everybody at the club is delighted for him as well. You know, he was here for a few years under Billy Reid, who was the manager, played beside Alec, who is the current manager, uh, and James, the three of them, were, were our midfield. Uh, and the two of them have done great, and no, we're delighted for them, absolutely delighted. Great attitudes, both of them, you know, and I think that's one of the biggest things that has got them to where they are. Um, the one thing both of them did have was a real hunger and desire to do well for themselves. Um, they never gave in, they were talented, obviously, um, but talent isn't enough at times, you know, and I think the two of them sort of epitomised that, and I think both of them have grown and became better players as they've moved on and played at a higher level as well. Um, and you try and get your most talented players to work as hard is what the other guys do, and obviously you try and improve the sort of technical and tactical aspect to the other guys who maybe have got all the heart and hunger, and maybe not just as technically as good as others. But what you'll tend to find is they'll all have different stages in terms of progression, whether they're going to improve um, to a certain level, or whether they can continue to improve and adapt their game and, and become better and better. And certainly with the two Jameses, that's been the case. And if the boys can sort of follow in their footsteps and continue to improve their game and develop, um, and I think so far, certainly for the under-20s and the first team, that's been the case certainly in the last year and a half. They are certainly in inspirations and I think any young young player that's thinking about joining Hamilton or even in Hamilton Serb, you know, the platform's there, if you work hard, you know, you'll get a chance here and hopefully you can emulate the two Jameses that and Brett Brian Easton that moved down south. Well I'm I'm now nine years now at Hamilton Aki's coming into nine. Uh, and everybody that's really been involved, you know, for Ronnie McDonald, Les Gray, uh, through to Billy Reid beforehand and then Alec. Uh, who was the captain and, and is now the manager. You know, the continuity has always been there. You know, we've, we've placed a big, big emphasis in bringing our own kids through, trying to get them, you know, first of all, get them into a full-time environment and then get them into the first team and then hopefully, you know, we'll give them a platform to go and play, showcase their talents and, you know, hopefully it does the club well and, you know, if they're good enough and better than, than, than Hamilton, then hopefully they'll go and get set on and that's, that's why we're here, you know got a lot of young players coming through and it's it's difficult to hold them back sometimes you know because they'll feel as if they're ready but certainly having first team experience for sort of 13 14 years playing at a decent level I know when they're ready to play and when they're not um, and sometimes it's difficult to sort of stop them and not only that now but we're tending to find we've got that many good young players that are really jostling for position and, and try to get them as much game time as we can can be difficult at times but it's a great problem to have you know in the past I think a lot of clubs are barely one or two young players coming through, whereas, as you see, we've got a whole sort of crop coming through at the moment, um, and they're doing extremely well at the 20s level just now. I think that's the top of the league, and not only that, the first team's thriving in the SPL as well. So, yeah, everything looks really sort of bright and rosy, as you like, um, at Hamilton at the moment.